All right, in this uh, quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can utilize the labels feature in Keyshot. Um, you know, you can add decals, stickers, logos, whatever, onto your models. So, um, I think I mentioned in one of the, the basics videos, like instead of, um, you know, you can project them onto your model in 3D space rather than trying to line them up in Photoshop from a 2D image and change the perspective and the skew and all the rest of it to get to get the correct um, perspective so basically up here in the textures tab um, you can see there's a, a labels specific um, area you know you can um, in this location here documents key shot blah 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 you can go into that location and, and put your own labels in there and basically what labels are they're just opacity mapped textures so uh, you know see these are uh, PNGs so they have um, alpha transparency baked into the into the texture so obviously anything white you know it's going to show up and that black's going to be transparent right so if I um, I'm going to drag out the, you just drag it out same with everything else in Keisha drag the label out and you can see hang on a sec usually you get a you get a pop-up so when you drag it out and you let go of the left mouse button you can see here you get a preview uh, color bump spec opacity and add label so you know you can do whatever you like here it's just going to give you a preview so some of these could come in handy and um, the bump in particular um, or even opacity but you know you choose add label for our purposes to add it as a label and uh, you can see splat it's basically um projecting onto the normals of the model so you can see here you know anywhere it's it's wrapping around the model conforming to uh, the normal directions so if you just uh, edit the material as usual and come over to the labels tab here we have the options so first things first we might want to scale it down and you can see here um, the, uh, the mapping type is set to normal projection so by default you know it, it's it projects it's projecting through but you can just come down here to label properties and uncheck two-sided and it won't project straight through so once you have it on your model here or sorry on your material just click this position and you can move it around here in real time to wherever you like and it's you can see it's sticking to whatever surface normal it crosses over and also you can see here you come to an, um, an edge it's going to uh, just like any texture map it's going to stretch um, across the surface there so you might you can't actually um, once you're in this mode of positioning the label you can't navigate so just bear that in mind so say for instance we want to bring it around the back we'd have to put it over here uncheck position then we can navigate check position again and move it around and that's basically all there is to it you know you have a couple of extra options here repeat if you wanted to tile it um, they're quite self-explanatory but um the scale i suppose and the position are the main two things you're going to be using um repeat might come in handy and um, change some of these things here but um and then it can have its own specular and uh, separate to whatever material it's been projected onto and then you've two-sided here or whatever your purposes are and that is pretty much it so it can as i say come in very handy if you're looking to project um, decals or whatever in 3D space rather than trying to paint them in and manipulate them in 2D space in Photoshop. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Thanks, cheers, good luck.